This week we're in the market town of Northampton, house hunting for Andrew and Ian who are tired of chucking away money on rent. They're determined to find the right place to work, rest and play together. 25-year-old Andrew Donald is a retail manager in Birmingham and 26-year-old Ian Salmon is a staff nurse in Northampton. They've been renting together for the past four years, but lining the landlord's pockets has lost its appeal. In renting accommodation, it is throwing dead money away, yeah, as yeah, we have lots. been now for four years, so it's time to get ourselves on the property ladder. These boys are good. They know rent money is dead money, so they're quitting their rental pad in Birmingham, pooling their resources and buying together. This is good news all round because we need first-time buyers, otherwise the market stagnates and no one can move up and on. Andrew and Ian want to buy a house in much more affordable Northampton, where they both have strong connections. I've got a lot of history there from, from going to university, still got friends there. I, I do like the Northampton pubs and bars, it's got a good buzz about it, a good vibe. I work in at Northampton General on, on the ward I work at the minute. I've got a good working relationship with the other nurses. Up to now, Andrew and Ian have been living a fun-filled, carefree existence. I spend a lot of times, like, probably out at the weekend with my friends and stuff. Uh, I like to shop, um, like to get my hair cut and stuff like that. Over the past four years, they've spent almost 30 grand on rent between them. At the moment, they're living in this pristine pad and they love their rental luxury. The house we're living in at the moment, I think it's beautiful. It's a modern two-bedroom house. It's exactly what um, we Yeah. Um, and if we could, I'd like to just pick it up and move it to Northampton. So, they want a modern two-bedroom house in Northampton, close to the town centre for the nightlife and train station for Andrew's commute back to his work in Birmingham. They have a budget of 120,000, but there's a snag and it's a big one. Where's your deposit? What have you done with it? I think because we both were students, um, obviously a lot of debts from those days, really, so we have got a lot of loans, um, so there's just no physical way of getting a deposit. You haven't been able to save for a deposit, which means it's 100% mortgage, which is fine, um, but that does mean that it affects the choices that you can make. Yeah, ideally we'd like to move to a property that requires just the basic... Ready to move Yeah, into. yeah. Kirsty and I usually advise first-time buyers, buy something that you can adapt, something that you can add value to during the time that you live there. The market's not going to be racing away over the next few years, and if you want to outperform that market, you've got to find another way of doing it. So, we've got a dilemma on our hands. Buying a property that needs work would be the way forward. But Andrew and Ian have a penchant for modern, well-finished houses. Let's hope they'll take our advice on board. I know we always say this, but it really feels like we've got our work cut out of the store. Oh, Phil, it's not, it's not the search that's difficult. It's their lack of financial acumen. Well, they're getting 100% mortgage, they don't have a deposit, and they've got debts. And they've got huge debts. But there are many, many first-time buyers around the country that are in the same problem. At least they've got their 120 grand interest-only mortgage in place. Getting a mortgage sorted is something all house buyers should do before they start searching. It's not true that whatever goes up must always come down, but it is dangerous to assume that the value of the house you're buying will automatically rise. Particularly if you're taking an interest-only mortgage, you've got to remember that if the market's not going to add value, you're going to have to. Armed with the boys' £120,000 budget and not a penny more, we've been searching for a two-bed property to protect Andrew and Ian from future financial troubles. And for my money, our first property would do just that. This Victorian terrace is on the market for just under £115,000. I know they're mad for new builds, but I reckon this traditional home could be a winner, as it's close to the buzz of the town centre and could make them money. Even though Andrew and Ian don't want to do much work, a little bit of elbow grease would go a long way to making this a great home and increase its value. Perfect for every first-time buyer. All set? Yeah. yeah. Ready to go? This is it. If you look beyond the decor, this house has such potential. It's big, light and airy. Downstairs, there's a large living room that could do with a lick of paint and a kitchen that needs finishing off. Upstairs, the two bedrooms are a good size, but need decorating and the bathroom does need work. A year ago, this property would have been snapped up by a developer and probably wouldn't have even hit the estate agent's books. But with the uncertain market, developers are being more cautious, which leaves an opening for first-time buyers like Ian and Andrew. 
This house doesn't view very well. It's not lived in, it's scruffy, it hasn't even been cleaned. Without spending any money, yeah. you can paint, you can clean, you can improve. And that in itself would add a few percentage points to the value of that house. What's your initial thought? Um, First impressions, it's just not got the wow factor. You can't afford that wow factor. Yeah, yeah. There are houses which you can add value to. There are houses which can outperform the market, which can protect you from the possibility of a downturn. Those houses are not brand spanking new wow factor properties. Do you properties. believe it's properties such as this one? Andrew and Ian could cheaply and easily create the wow factor here if they would just listen to our advice. You don't need to change the carcass mm -hmm. of the kitchen. It's all here. Ian, I mean, would you want to spend money here? I really don't think we've got extra money to That's spend. That's the problem. But it's not big money that's needed. A bit of hard graft would cheaply spruce up the inside to make it a home. And as a bonus, the house's value rises, protecting them from any drop in property prices. And they save money by not paying a developer's premium. You both recognise that you haven't been that financially astute in the past. And you can't continue like that if you're going to own a, if you're going to own a property and commit to that. You have to take control, you have to be responsible about what, where you spend your money and how you spend it. And this is a method by which you can... Be in control. Be in control and, and do something really sensible. And why...? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, OK, I, I appreciate that. The boys are skating on thin ice. If, if, they, if they choose not to listen to our advice, that's absolutely fine. We've it's given it. Fine. We've it's given not it. fine. It's not fine. Then they don't seem to be taking it on board. I just feel like I would prefer to carry on renting than live in a place like this. That's my gut feeling. It makes me want to weep. You just want it all perfect for when you yeah, move in. That's, that's my life. Yeah, that's my that's, style. That's, would you take that risk? No, Have you ever no, taken that risk? But, Have I ever no, taken that we're, risk? We're doing, Kirsty, don't get upset. We're, we're doing our job. We pointed out the pitfalls. I wouldn't be prepared to leave Birmingham and move into something like this. I really wouldn't. So what do you reckon then? Um, initial thoughts for me, I do appreciate that it's got good investment potential, mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't be willing to do any work for myself. I feel like it's such a long way to have to move on yeah. from, from where, where we are now. And okay. yeah. I just don't feel like I'd He's be He's not willing at all. To, to stay in a place like this for any amount of time. Clearly, these two are a bit work shy when it comes to doing up properties. And if they're so dead set on a modern house with wire factor, we'll show them one. But it has to be one that will hold its value. And we found an exceptional modern build on the market at just under 120,000. But we've had to move further out of town, away from the bars and clubs we know they love. It's in Stonyhurst Mews near Kingsthorpe. The real plus is that this is a desirable area. Top local schools mean it attracts families, so properties will always be in demand and will hold their value. Great news. If they don't mind being away from the buzz of town, this low maintenance option could be right up their street. In fact, it could be their street. Anyone recognise this? It's practically our house, yeah. <laughs> it's our house, but in a different town. It's just been transported, I think. Yeah. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, I very think good. good thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inside, it's immaculate. Downstairs, there's a large living room and kitchen diner, and upstairs, there are two double bedrooms. At the back, it has a lovely, well-kept garden. This property is just three years old, so it's still in pristine condition, and because it's not brand new, you're avoiding any developer's markup, and you can be sure you're paying the correct market price. Now, this really should feel very similar to where you currently live. It, it feels exactly the same, actually, yeah. It's the same layout. Just different furniture. What you see is what you get. You know your way around this one. <laughs> I think we could tell you, couldn't we, where to go in here? <laughs> OK. Because it's been around a few years, any problems with the build would have come to light by now. This place looks rock solid and the boys would feel right at home. You obviously prefer modern. Why is that? I think it's because we, we like this clean, fresh look when we move into somewhere and they being able just to move into a property without having to do any major major work as such. So no work and no vision required. Come on boys, is that really what you want? How does it feel being in a house which is so like yours? Um, I really like this house as it's so similar to the house we love in Birmingham. Do you think the location is going to blow this house for Andrew? 
Um, yeah, possibly. What's in your mind as far as the distance is concerned then? I mean, it's a mile and a half into town, maybe a bit further. At the moment, the way I'm probably feeling that I'm prepared to make that little bit further journey daily, just because I'll be living in this house, which I already practically live in and love. No surprise the boys like this one. They don't have to lift a finger. But remember, it's quite a distance from the bars and clubs. Do they love it enough to compromise on location? We've been getting on quite well, and it seems to like it. Mm. How about you guys? Well, Ian's 90% sure that Andrew won't like it. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> won't like it. <laughs> Where's it? Why? Because of the commute, I thought that perhaps it'd be too much with going on the bus than on the train. Yeah, it's yeah. all about the house, so I think yeah. at the moment I've been, because it's exactly the same as what we're used to, I think it's, I'm prepared at the minute, even though I've not properly thought it through, to do that extra commute. Mm. But obviously, when we think it through, maybe it'll all be a bit different. Yeah. But I'm keen to see other properties still, um, what are nearer to the train station, and maybe hopefully totally different to this, because then maybe that will, maybe that will change my mind completely. But at the moment, mm. I'm... Mm. 95% sure that I like this house. 95%? That's enough for me. Well, not for me. The location of this new build is just too far away from town. And on reflection, I reckon Andrew won't cope with the commute. I'm determined to stop them thinking short term and want them to look at places with real potential. And do you know what? I'll make them listen. We've still got the opportunities in here, I think, to obviously increase value by yeah, doing... You definitely can't do that, Shadow Dad. Yeah, get him there. Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>